Hey there Facebook, it is Vanessa here again, your motivational speaker, trainer and head coach from Live Love Give and today's message is all about the fact that your flaws shine light on your pathway to your potential and this one is coming at you um, you know, from a belief system that I hold in terms of that sometimes can be kind of controversial to some people out there um, when you kind of look deeper into it. But ultimately, I really believe that every single one of us is doing the best that we can with the current tool set that we have. And flaws at the flaws that we have as individuals, most of us every one of us at some point in our lives and we're probably doing it all the time right here right now we're always trying to run away from those flaws you know we're trying to avoid the flaws and paint this persona of ourselves to be some like perfect image whatever we think we need to be in order to gain the love approval significance whatever it is in our external environment and we're running away from those flaws feeling like oh my gosh if somebody recognizes these flaws then they're going to um, you know realize how damaged I am realize you know how how much of a lesser than human being I am because of these flaws and and I'm going to end up alone and uh, you know all of these stories that go on in our subconscious um, but ultimately it's our flaws you know really our flaws serve only to conceal the valuable nature of our potential contribution to humanity I really do believe that we all hold within us the potential for greatness and the potential to be of great service to others and ultimately it's our flaws that actually shine light on the growth that we need to have as individuals in this lifetime so when we own our flaws, when we shine light on our flaws, when we use our flaws as a way of realizing and recognizing what areas we need to grow as an individual, then ultimately we can get on the right pathway to true fulfillment, true tapping into our ability to contribute to the lives of others through authenticity. You know, because every single time we try and avoid our flaws, we are taking away we're, we're moving into a persona and we're taking away from our authentic self so when we do that we can't actually grow and this is how we end up getting in our own way this is how we get in these massive states of confusion lack of direction not knowing where to go in life because we are trying so hard to avoid our flaws disown our flaws, run away from our flaws, and we're like, well, where do I go? How do I learn? How do I grow? How do I contribute? How do I create meaning in my life? What is this all about? And we get so caught up in trying to be perfect. My gosh, I'm going to have to get rid of this uh, sticky thing that I use on these windows because this happened yesterday. Um, but, you know, that's really my, uh, oh, there we go. My message um, is really tapping into the fact that we get in our own way. And when we are in that state of confusion, I'm really worried about this falling off the window now. When we get into this state of confusion and we, you know, we ultimately don't realize that it is because we are running away from the very thing that is trying to guide us in terms of the lessons that we as an individual need to learn what our best pathway towards growth towards being a whole rounded out human being is and the longer we go neglecting and running away from those flaws which are ultimately you know they are not a detriment to us they are an opportunity for us to realize what our path forward is and only when we have the courage to own what they are look at them shine light on them and realize oh you know I have these flaws for a reason it is these flaws that are giving me the signposts the guidance to tap into you know what areas of growth are you know unique to me you know instead of thinking Oh, I love what that person over there is doing or that person over there is doing. They look really happy. They look really fulfilled. Maybe I'll just do what they're doing. You know, that's not your pathway. That is why you end up in confusion. And it, what I am saying to you guys is to shine light, own your flaws with courage and with a perspective that they don't take away from you. 
They actually give to you. They actually build you up. They actually shine light and give you so much clarity, direction, purpose in your life should you choose to look at them and shift your perspective as to what flaws really are in uh, in ourselves and in individuals. And um, I am yeah, really wanting to make sure that this message is resonating with you guys. I hope that the way that I'm tapping into this and explaining this to you is making sense um, and that you are starting to shift your perspective in terms of the flaws that you've been maybe identifying and they're kind of like, you know, in here and you feel like, oh, I don't want to go near them. I don't want anybody know, to know about that flaw that I have. And ultimately, you're getting in your own way. And I love what Dr. D. Martini says, which he says that perceived voids create our values. So you guys are always hearing me talk about how it's our fears that shine light on what we value most. And that's why I I absolutely value our fears and fears are so attached to our perception of our flaws. And so when we can recognize that it's our perceived voids, our flaws that create our values and our values when lived in alignment of ultimately put you on the pathway of true fulfillment and progress, then ultimately we can own these flaws for all of the gold that they actually provide us in our lives and we can utilize them to gain the clarity, the direction and the purpose to shine light on the areas of growth for us so that we can ultimately go on that self-discovery, go on that growth journey for ourselves so that we can ultimately contribute to the lives of others and help them fast track their success. To come into a more whole, higher self is to actually give back to humanity in such a brilliant way. There is no better way that you can be of greater service to humanity and the people that you love most than to go on that growth journey, get out of your own way and to come to a whole centered being within yourself so that you can hold space for others to do the same so that we can you know get to that place of true fulfillment and progress and contribution so guys um and ov obviously that is you know being authentic you know in order to own our flaws we have to be authentic. Auth authenticity is the key to everything. It is the key to your freedom. It is the key to unleashing your greatness on the world and being of great service. So I hope that this is resonating with you guys. Let me know. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, feedback for me. I always love engaging with you guys, like I always say. And um, yeah, really hoping that today's message is resonating with you guys and it has got you thinking in a different way about your flaws and I'm hoping that it will give you the courage to actually own your flaws, own every single one of them because the sooner you do, the sooner you get clarity, the direction, purpose that we all crave and the sooner you can be of greater service contribution and have real meaning in your life and feel absolutely free. You know, there is nothing better than tapping into the authentic self, being loving and compassionate about the whole spectrum of who you are as a human being and being able to shine light on the pathway to do the same for other individuals. So I'm going to check in with you guys. And uh, before I do, if any of you haven't already, please, what are you doing? Come on over and join the Limitless Potential Inner Circle Facebook community, a bunch of extraordinary human beings who are supporting and encouraging and challenging one another to reach the next level of their limitless potential. And um, that is a place where we are creating an environment where we feel like we've got our tribe, you know, our like-minded individuals that oftentimes we just don't have in our in our physical everyday life and that is the beauty of creating an online community where you do have access to extraordinary human beings who do share the same values and determination for growth and progression and contribution as you do and so you've got to come on over and join us so now I'm going to check in with you guys. I love this part. I've got uh, Brandon's here. Awesome. And Frank and Tony and Hassani and uh, Chris is here and Tumas and uh, Aaron and Joel and Jamal and Harold and uh, Brandon. I just turned notifications on for your live videos. Thank you so much, Brandon. I hope that you get a ton of value from these messages and it's so wonderful to connect with you. And uh, awesome, Brandon. And uh, Jeremy's here and Darren and... 
Dustin's here and Johnny, you're so welcome, and Gamal and Alex and Stephen and Abhishek and Robert and Jay and Chris, keep the floor, yeah. Love it. <laughs> and uh, Amit and uh, Lorraine and Ramesh, loving that this is resonating, and Rut and Rita and Akka and Michael and Jasm and Gamal. So confident and well prepared, but you may need to repeat key points in your outline from time to time. Awesome, and I appreciate that uh, that valuable feedback. Um, definitely, if anything um, that I ever tap into is kind of just going over the head the first time, I will make sure that I am being more conscious about delivering the points to you as well and uh, and definitely I really appreciate when you give me that feedback and let me know particularly when it's on the video as well so that I can dive back into that point and make sure that it's definitely resonating and definitely adding value to you you are so appreciated Gamal thank you so much and uh, uh, Ivan um, awesome awesome and Ram and Kieran and Sharat and Cadence here and Shauna and Tanya and Judy and Scott um, Dustin, you are so, so welcome as always. And Frank, I have no flaws. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the perfect version of myself. Awesome, awesome. Thanks so much, Frank. And yeah, I love that we can laugh about that um, because, you know, it is, there is so much to be owned in our flaws. You know, I love flaws. I love fears. And I'm, um, I bring them on. And because uh, when we can tackle that from a place of courage and authenticity, Wow, do you grow? Wow, do you enter a space of such freedom? And wow, can you create such depth in your connections with others as well and be able to be a leader, you know, from emotional intelligence? It is a beautiful place to be. And um, I love having you here. Uh, Frank, thanks so much. And uh, Jazz, nice of you to join me. And Richard, would you continue to pursue user strength or improve your weaknesses? And what can you do to finish what you started rather than switching and pursuing new things? Oh, great questions. And uh, so firstly, your first question there, Richard, um, would you continue to pursue, use your strength or improve your weaknesses? Great, great question. And it's one that, you know, I think throughout our schooling life, you know, particularly I'm talking from Australia and I'm, I'm going to say it's probably pretty general in the Western world at least, um, that we are taught in school to, you know, focus on our weaknesses. You know, oh, you only got to see here, like you better focus and grow that. Um, and so we kind of got it in our minds that we need to, you know, forget about, don't worry if you're good at it, so you should be. And uh, just forget about that. Really, you got to focus on leveling yourself up. If you're failing at this or you're not good at this we've got to focus on your weaknesses and through my um, I've got certification through personality psychology and when I really learn about that framework about how our brains are wired and how each and every one of us has a genius based on the two mental processes that we use as our absolute strengths and when you recognize how that works out in the brain then it makes you want to double down on your strengths because when you focus on your weaknesses, the mirror opposites to what your greatest strengths are, it actually can put you into a major state of depression. And a lot of people out there are in depression because they are focused on the opposing cognitive functions or mental processes that are actually not their strengths at all. And they're taking away from the mental processes that give them energy, juice, um, and meaning in their lives. So that's there's those two different perspectives and uh, and what I would really say about that is um, you know what we're talking about right now is our flaws so I would say that we need to find the hidden meaning behind our flaws as to what are those areas those limitations that I can grow myself I can move past so that I can greater I can tap into my strengths to a greater degree because anything that's holding us back we need to find a way to progress forward so that we can really go deep in what our key strengths are I hope that that um, I'm just you know working it out as I go here Richard I hope that the way that I spoke into that was a value to you that it made sense if it didn't please let me know and uh, you had a second question what can you do to finish what you started rather than switching and pursuing new things? Amazing question, particularly for all of us out there, myself included, who love new shiny objects. 
And, uh, you know, I love new things. I love new concepts, new um, courses, events, all of that stuff, new books. And uh, we can often like get caught up in the excitement of it and go for it. And then we kind of stop start because the next thing comes. And what I've come to discover is that we tend to live life that way when we haven't got a a clear filter, a clear direct filter as to what is most meaningful to us as an individual. And all of those times in my life where I've been really start, stop and kind of started this thing and not wanted to finish it and wanted to jump over to this next thing, ultimately because I didn't have enough meaning behind it. I didn't have enough context behind it. I didn't have a great enough filter of who I really am and what I really want and you know, having that courage to move in that direction. So I became very start stoppish and didn't really know what I wanted and, and felt like I couldn't um, have enough integrity within myself to, to finish what I started, right? So what I would say to you about that is, and, and my journey has been getting that filter, knowing what I really value, knowing exactly where I'm looking to go and how what creates real meaning. And when we can get that, you know, it's like our whys behind what we do. That is what allows us to stay on the journey and also to select the right journey to go on, which shiny object to chase and, and move forward with, as opposed to getting distracted by everything because it just we're not sure about it and we don't have enough meaning because we don't have enough great enough filter. So Again, Richard, amazing questions. I so appreciate you and uh, and asking those questions. I really hope that that resonated. I hope it served. And uh, let me know if it didn't, if I can clear anything up. Thank you so much, Richard. And Jenna, awesome to see you. And Linda, oh, thank you so much for your kind words. And Craig's here. And Jose, oh, I never know what, how to say your name, but I absolutely love you being here. And uh, Bogdan's here. And Thomas, Tumas. Uh, our greatest glory is not in never failing, but rising every time we fail. I'm successful because I have a lot of experience to fail. Yes, sometimes we win, sometimes we learn. Absolutely, Tumas. I love your words of wisdom. Thank you so much.